Some strong accusations tonight from a former member of a prominent Central Florida Hispanic organization. He says thousands of taxpayer dollars given to the Hispanic Business Initiative Fund were not spent properly, and the documents were submitted to Orange County government to cover that up. Channel 9's Jody Fleischer is live at the County Administration Building now with what she's learned. Jody. Well, we spent hours upstairs sifting through those reports today and found the bookkeeping to be fuzzy at best. Even a county staffer couldn't make heads or tails of how the money was spent, and the documents that were there may not be entirely accurate. It's illegal. It's illegal. It's, it's plain and simply illegal. And that's exactly what Rafael Romero says he told the Florida Department of Law Enforcement investigating the Hispanic Business Initiative Fund. The organization helps Hispanic people launch new businesses, and it's gotten close to $2 million in grant money to do it. Basically, they were pocketing the money and not complying with the... With, with, with the standards of the grant. They were uh, basically not providing the services that they were supposed to do. HBIF received two checks from Orange County in 2000 and 2002, totaling $25,000. They were supposed to fund seminars to help displaced farm workers in the Lake Apopka area. There's solid documentation of one seminar with attendees' names and evaluations, but six others, which supposedly happened in the summer of 2001, are questionable. Romero was once the vice president and then acting president, but wouldn't vouch for the seminars. I definitely was not going to sign for it, and uh, especially when it was not uh, fulfilled. He took over when former president Jose Fernandez left to join the staff of Orlando Mayor Buddy Dyer. But three years and three presidents after Fernandez left, it's his signature that appears on the document swearing that the grant money was spent properly. Auditors have to be very careful about jumping to conclusions, but that is certainly the types of... Uh, the circumstances that would have us asking more questions. Channel 9 was able to account for seven of the 17 people said to have graduated from the seminars. None of them had been to six. Most hadn't even been to three. The county never checked, trusting that this form was accurate. Whether it's for $2,500 or $25,000 or $25 million, if somebody's done something with it that they weren't supposed to do, we would prefer they not get away with that. Now the comptroller plans to contact the FDLE to see whether its investigation can help track down that money. The current HBIF president told me their record keeping has been greatly improved. It's all electronic now. They keep track of things like salaries and invoices and hours. Meanwhile, Jose Fernandez's attorney did not return our calls for comment. Reporting live at the Orange County Administration Building, Jody Fleischer, Channel 9 Eyewitness News.